As the country and the world wait for another potential vaccine, hospitals here in North Alabama are wasting no time administering Pfizer's vaccine to frontline health care workers. And that's where we begin tonight at 4. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Tasha Sherman. Way 31's Brecken Terry was at Helen Keller Hospital as it started giving the coronavirus vaccine to staff. Just beyond these doors, nurses and physicians here at Helen Keller Hospital are getting the vaccine. I spoke with one of the first doctors that got it, and he said he hopes that this shows other people that they should get the vaccine too. Uh, on March the 20th, when I came into the unit, uh, I knew I was going to get it. Uh, it was a matter of time, and I was actually frightened. And this is a wonderful uh, development. With a round of applause and a shot, those fears started to go away for Helen Keller pulmonologist Dr. Lynn Ridgeway. One of the first at the hospital to get the vaccine. I feel uh, remarkably blessed uh, to have gotten it. Uh, I can't wait to have immunity. Uh, it's just a great feeling. Ridgeway said if he had it his way, his patients would have gotten the vaccine first. If we can get folks that are at risk vaccinated, then they're protected. Hospital officials said while the vaccine beams some light at the end of the tunnel, the fight isn't over. We have 41 patients in the house. We've averaged over 40 this week. That's the most we've averaged in one week. So we're still very, very busy. For nurses and doctors like Ridgeway, he hopes Americans will get the vaccine when it's available to everyone in the coming months. We have to achieve herd immunity somehow, and the best way is, uh, is with this vaccine. Ridgeway said the shot didn't hurt, and he didn't have any immediate reactions to it. In Sheffield, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News. Now, the hospital is still vaccinating some staff members until 7 o'clock this evening. We also know the area of the hospital designated for the vaccinations does have extra security.